Talk 100.3, guess who I have with me right now and I'm sure you can see, Andy Flower, the man that every team is looking for because he has some magic touch that can make your team win the finals. Andy, a pleasure to speak to you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for that generous introduction. <laughs> you know, uh, let's start with Gulf Giants and uh, it's been a, it was a great season last year. Now this season... Still, there are chances of, uh, you know, making it and, you know, top four. Your thoughts so far with Gulf Giants? Yeah, it's been a, <clears throat> a very different season for us. Uh, so, last year, we dominated, along with Desert Vipers, the qualification uh, rounds. Um, and then, obviously, won the, won the final. It was a brilliant first season for us um, and for the league, I think. And then this season has been different for, for us and the Desert Vipers, who also did really well last year and were, were in the finals for us. We both struggled a bit for form. Um, it has been different. And, uh, um, and, and we had a great win to put us back in, in contention for the playoffs. So that is our first goal at the moment, is making the playoffs. We've got to get there to give ourselves a chance. And uh, we've got three, three games in which we need to certainly win two of them so um it's it's been really interesting competition so far the the quality of the sides is uh, very high and uh and, and therefore you know every game if you're off your game just a few percentage points you get punished uh andy i must ask you that you know yesterday's win fantastic congratulations but, you know, the local players, they want to make their mark and we see that and some players are really standing out. For example, Zoheb Zubair, yesterday, four wickets, fantastic bowling. Your thoughts on uh, UAE players and really wanting to shine like the international players? Well, I think one of the best things about this league is that it's giving the, UAE, the local UAE players a, a, a brilliant opportunity to show what they can do um, and also grow their games. So... The exposure that they're getting amongst these international stars that are playing in this league is brilliant for the growth of their their skill and their understanding, and also to demystify what happens at a sort of international standard. I think so. They um, they're certainly feeling more comfortable. There are some excellent uh, UAE players not even making some of the 11s at the moment. So we left Usman Khan out yesterday and played. Ayan Khan and Zahab Zubair. Um, Junaid Siddiqui, who's a, an excellent performer. He's, I don't think he's got a game this year. Um, so there are some really good um, UAE players sitting on the sidelines, while other youngsters like Jawadullah, for instance, are getting their chances. Yesterday, for us, Ayan Khan, two wickets with, with the first two, two balls of, um, of our bowling innings, was, um, was, it, was superb. And uh, Zubair with four for 22 in four overs. Um, he's been excellent for us. You know, that's a, a, an 18-year-old and a 20-year-old um, that are, are, the, are the sort of future of, um, or part of the future of the UAE cricket, doing amazing things in a very, very strong um, tournament. So brilliant for UAE cricket, brilliant for those youngsters. You know, Andy, I was there last year, all three stadiums, enjoying the games, but this year, when I entered all three stadiums, what I saw, a lot of crowd, a lot of support. It's bigger, it's grander. It looks like, you know, IIT 20 has gone past 10 seasons. That is that uh, power, the impact that is happening right now. Are you feeling that uh, with the entire tournament? Yeah, that, that is certainly a difference with last year, no doubt. You know, I think the squads have got stronger. Um, you know, with, uh, with some of the direct signings that were available... Um, I think all the teams have got stronger. Uh, and then the other m the major difference is the amount of people coming into the stadiums to watch. And uh, the broadcasters love it, seeing full crowds. And the players love playing in front of the, uh, uh, people. You know, they want to show what they can do. Yeah. And it creates a great atmosphere. So that is, um, that's certainly a difference uh, that's been incredibly positive for the tournament. Superb. Now, a uh, lot of work ahead for you, Andy. And I must ask you that, you know, you have been a part of winning teams, you know, winning finals, be it Australia during uh, the World Cup. And uh, now that you're going to lead, uh, not lead, but coach RCB, how are you looking forward for that? 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's, it's going to be a hugely exciting challenge, uh, the RCB Challenge. Uh, uh, it's a great venue to play at the Chinnaswamy. Uh, we've got some outstanding cricketers in our squad. We've got a, a great captain in Faf Duplessis who I've worked with in the coach-captain relationship before in the Caribbean. Um, and uh, and we, kn we all know about how passionate uh, and widespread the fan following for RCB is. So that is going to be super exciting. We uh, want to do something special. Uh, we are looking, um, you know, we, we've got a very exciting uh, bunch of cricketers, both Indian and overseas. Cameron Green's come in. We've got Maxwell uh, up front. Um, so I think that, you know, and, and, and a host of Indian talent, um, some of them are just sort of making their way in the Indian A team at the moment, Akashdeep. Uh, and Rajat Patida, who's just debuted in a, in a, in a test match um, just in the last few days. So um, I think we've got a lot of exciting times ahead, a lot of um, tough times, I'm sure. Uh, but that, that's, that's why we love being involved in this game, because we, we like taking on challenges and we like putting ourselves on the line. Uh, one question before we do the ra uh, rapid fire. Uh, I'm sure that a uh, lot of uh, young cricketers as well wanting to learn from you. But uh, as of now, since you've been, uh, you know, a part of England winning the Ashes and uh, England winning the T20 World Cup, any word of advice for India to in this current uh, series going on? Well, it's it's a fascinating watch. I'm, I'm loving watching it. You know, I think a lot of people around the world were looking forward to watching uh, England in India. Um, it's a it's a really tough ask to go to India and win in those conditions. But they did it. They did it in the first test. That was a, just an amazing victory. Um, and, uh, and I've got a lot of respect for them for, for the type of cricket that they're playing. You know, even chasing close on 400 in this test match, I know they're struggling a bit at the moment, but the fact that, um, you know, they ha there were definitely some nervous Indian players out there as they were uh, accelerating that score in that last innings and people giving them a credible chance of chasing it down. Um, and I, I think that's testament to the type of cricket that they're playing. So it's hugely exciting. It looks like uh, India are going to square the series now. Um, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward to watching the next three. Good news, India's winning the second test. <laughs> quick rapid fire, quick rapid fire. It won't take much time. I'm going to name three players. You've got to tell me, since you've coached so many teams, so many players, you tell me this player plays for which team? <laughs> Franchise league. KL Rahul. Uh, Lucknow Super Giants. DJ Bravo. CSK. You have coached them in your team. DJ Bravo. Uh, Delhi Bulls. Virat Kohli. <laughs> Not sure. I haven't heard of him. <laughs> Are you sure, Andy? A lot of people are going to watch this. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, working with, uh, with Virat at RCB. Superb, Andy. Thank you so much and wish you all the best. And, and, and we hope that Gulf Giants lifts the trophy this time as well. So do I. Thank you.